Folks, right here, this is where you get your free money. I would like to be considered for an advance of up to $10,000. Check that box. Hey everyone, Kevin here. I have an urgent update for small businesses and self-employed people. If you have ever paid employees or you 1099 help, like designers or people to help you with your small business, you could be eligible for $10,000 within three days of filling a form out online, probably longer because that's kind of what I alluded to in my last video when I broke this. <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna get inundated, but you're eligible for $10,000 completely free all the way up to $10 million to cover expenses for your business like payroll, keeping people employed, sick pay, vacation pay, 401k matches, uh, business expenses, business debts, business equipment, you name it. All of these things could be covered. So if you have a small business and you want $10,000 for free, all the way up to $10 million covering your expenses. This is the video for you. Now, yesterday at like 7 p.m., the SBA released a new form. So if you've already filled out the old application, that could still work, but I recommend you get your confirmation application ID by using this new form the SBA just released a Sunday night, which is mind blowing that they were actually working over the weekend, but also a very good thing. Because consider this, there are 30 million businesses in America and Congress has only allocated enough for the first 1 million small businesses to get the $10,000 grants and probably less than that to get the larger loans. And since they're given out on a first come first serve basis, you're really incentivized to apply now. Now I'll put a link in the description for this, but if you go to sba.gov, you can see they have apply for an economic injury disaster loan. This is what I broke last week. And we filled out and put forms into a Dropbox. Those forms, again, they could still be valid. It could all still work. Work, but if you want to just guarantee your place in line, I would also fill this form out. Now, this application is kind of ridiculous. I, I don't know if they mean like literally this form here because it says the entire application is going to take you two hours and 10 minutes. I literally did this yesterday at 1030 PM and it took me somewhere around 10 minutes. So uh, I'll show you really quick how to break this down. Quick note on how to get up to $10 million though, because a lot of people are only talking about the $10,000. The $10,000 that we keep hearing about is $10,000 for free as a grant, whether or not you get approved for this application, for this loan, so to speak. Everything above that $10,000 is actually considered a loan with a max interest rate of 4% and a term of about 10 years that you're supposed to pay back, but you don't have to make payments on for the first year. And after that first year, if things settle down and everything's good again, the stimulus bill itself says that these loans are forgivable, which the reason they say it's forgivable and not just straight up free for the part between $10,000 and $10 million is because they actually want to make sure and audit you to make sure you actually spend this money on payroll and not like a vacation somewhere. So the $10,000 grant is an advance of this loan. Everybody's essentially getting the same sort of loan. When we hear loan, we're like, I don't want to be saddled with debt. I get it. But it's totally forgivable as long as you follow the rules of the program, at least based on what the stimulus plan said. I imagine there are going to be a lot of forms that we're going to get when you actually go through this process that say, yeah, it is indeed forgivable. The $10,000 is just kind of like, hey, thanks for filling out the form. Here's $10,000 while you wait for your free loan. <laughs> so let's show you that part. Now, the next step is going to the SBA website, which is very simple. You just want to go to sba.gov. And at the top, you'll see a yellow bar that says click here for disaster relief. And boom, you're at the application. OK, so you can see my iPhone here on screen. Yesterday, I filled this all out and I went all the way to the end and got this application ID. I'm going to do it again right now and not actually hit submit. But I do want you to see I hit submit on the application ID, mostly because I want to get on the phone with the people at the SBA so I could report more information on this to you. And I need an application ID to do that. Let's uh, get started with this form again, though. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to put me at the top. For most of my audience, we're probably 
probably gonna be checking this box right here. Applicant is an individual. So when you're filling out this form, are you filling it out on the behalf of your LLC as the managing member of your LLC? Are you filling it out as the president of your S corporation or are you an individual? So LLC or S corp, check this box here. You're a business then. The applicant is a business uh, with not more than 500 employees. If you are a sole proprietor or you've never created a business entity, but you have a website and you sell stuff and occasionally you hire people and occasionally you 1099 people, which I'm pretty sure is a requirement for this. If you're in doubt, just apply anyway. I had a lot of people wondering, hey, well, if I've 1099 this person, do I qualify? Just try. Uh, you know, worst thing they're gonna say is sorry, like you didn't qualify with the terms. But as long as you get past step one, you get $10,000 for free. And step one is them kind of looking at your application going, okay, yep, looks like you've got 1099 uh, people, people that you've paid for help or employees. Now, as far as these other ones, I really don't think any of my audience is gonna be a cooperative or I don't even know what some of these things are, like a tribal small business. So if you're one of those, I'm sorry, I'm not the guy for you. Uh, all these check boxes, like, look, just read them. I read them and I'm like, yeah, no, I, I don't do anything wrong. I'm not in the business of lobbying and I'm not a member of Congress. Okay, cool. Let's hit this really quick. So business legal name. My business legal name is the Pafrath Organization, which sounds kind of lame, but I actually do business as Meet Kevin. So I'm actually just gonna write in Meet Kevin here. Now, just a heads up, I tried the form both ways. The form is pretty much the same if you're a sole proprietor or you are a business, but realize if if you are a business applicant, you are applying as an entity, which means you actually have something known as an EIN, an employer identification number. It's kind of like a social security number for your business. This is how I've been able to open credit in my business to prevent having credit show up on my personal credit score, which means I can qualify for more real estate loans, which obviously y'all know in the courses and the educational material that I provide a link below, I love real estate and it's really easy to make money investing in real estate. Anyway, organization type. This is where you could see actually on both forms, they show you could put it in as an independent or you add your social security number. So I'm not really sure why they have two different options at the beginning because really it gives you all the options anyway, no matter which form you use. Look at this, sole proprietor, LLC, S Corp. I'll go ahead and put in S Corp because that's what I am. Am I a nonprofit? No, franchise, no. Gross revenues, I don't know. Let's just go ahead and put $1 million in here. Is that it? Yeah, there we go. Cost of goods sold, well, it's mostly on the internet. So $50,000. Rental properties, lost rents due to the disaster. Oh my gosh. I don't know if this, uh, I think this is gonna apply to businesses, but this begs the question if you should also apply for this as an individual if you're a landlord. Wow, rental properties, lost rent due to the disaster. Well, I don't know, you know, let's just go ahead and put in 50 grand. Uh, if you don't know something, estimate it. Remember, it's an application, just fill out the form. Only the ones with an asterisk actually need something, but uh, I would recommend just filling out your best guess. Secular services, N-A but God bless. All right, compensation for other sources, provide brief description of other, this is whatever, uh, that part doesn't matter, primary business address, fill this out, business phone, let's do it really quick. Okay, there we go, business phone, throw in the phone number, alternate, doesn't matter, fax, doesn't matter, seriously, kevin at meetkevin.com. Now, date business established, if you're an independent, this is probably just kind of whatever you established it, but if you create an LLC or S Corp, you should actually go back and see, oh, what was that date I actually established my corporate documents, and uh, you should remember that date. You could have been in business before that, since, uh, you know, maybe you were in business since 2010, like I was, but the current ownership of my business uh, was only established in 2013 as an S corporation. Business activity, real estate detailed. Uh, yep, we'll go with realty. Employees, we'll go with three. Perfect. Now, as far as determining number of employees, if you are a business, you generally choose yourself as an employee, maybe your spouse or people who help you who are also employees of your business. But then also think about the people that you 1099. Well, I 1099 the designer. What about the, the guy who helps install my signs or the person who does my 3D scans? These are 1099 employees, basically helpers that I pay. That's good, add, add that all in there. I don't know that it has to be perfect, just put it all in. We can verify the numbers and information later. Now, if you are a totally self-employed individual and you do not 
have anyone helping you, be careful with this because if you are just yourself and you never pay any employees, this might not be the right program for you. This is really designed for individuals and small businesses who actually pay other people. That is, do you ever write a check to somebody else that basically creates their livelihood. That's my guess. So think about that really hard. Think like, well, I mean, I know I set up my job shipping website, but did I buy a course from somebody? You know, like I sell courses. You bought a real estate course from me? In theory, that's kind of like paying a business, right? Somebody that's helping you. Now, I'm not a CPA, so if you're in doubt, fill something out and then call them, ask them. When you go through the application process, I'm sure more details are gonna come out over this. So I don't know. I can't guarantee any of this information, but just a heads up, that's gonna be one of the holes if you're all alone and you don't pay anyone. Now, this one's a little complicated. See how it says, is your business owned by a business entity? This is a little confusing to me because we're applying for this as a business entity. But I think this means like, is my corporation or LLC owned by another business? And the answer to that is no. Obviously, if I'm an individual or sole proprietor filling this out, well, then I would have also filled this form out like I did. I would have gone in as the owner of an S corporation. So I, I'm pretty sure that box is, is your business owned by another business entity? Because I'm filling this out as a business entity already. Anyway, uh, so I'm gonna hit no on that. Then I'm gonna do individual owner agent. Okay, uh, that's me as the president of the company, president or CEO, what do they let me do? Title, office, okay, CEO, there you go. Ownership percent, 100. This is where they ask you for your social as well. So put that in as the owner of the company. That's pretty normal that you're gonna have to add your social. Date of birth, go ahead and throw that in there. Yeah, there we go. And place of birth, Germany, US citizen, yes. Residential address, sounds good. Add additional owner if you need to. Not gonna do that. Then you've got some additional information here. Uh, is the applicant or anyone currently debarred from contracting with the federal government? Nope. Convicted of a criminal offense? Nope. Presently subject to criminal arraignment or criminal charges? Nope. Uh, anyone assisted you in completing this application? Nope, I just did it myself. And do not put my name on there, okay? Because I'm not charging you anything and I'm not qualified to help you with this. <laughs> so I did not help you fill this form out. I'm just some dude on YouTube. This is really important right here. Oh my gosh. Folks, right here, this is where you get your free money. I would like to be considered for an advance of up to $10,000. Check that box. And then literally triple check your banking information here. Chase, put in the account number, put in the routing number. Check it four to five different times. I don't care if you have to copy and paste it onto a spreadsheet and blow it up big and compare the columns just to make sure the number was perfect. Yeah, I've actually done that before. Make sure this is literally perfect. You check this again, give it a quick little read through, go back. But I mean, I've only been recording this video for 14 minutes and I didn't even cut out the other stuff like my pauses and stuff, but all of the filling out we just did together. This is really short. I certify under penalty of perjury, perfect. Okay, now when you hit next, you go to a summary page again. This is another good opportunity for you to review everything. So this is where you could see business legal name, the Pafrath org, doing business as, meet Kevin, that's the trade name, the trademark trade name, makes sense. Review all your information, review your numbers, review your submission, you got your uh, owner information here, uh, everything's no, blah, 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 I'm not a robot. This is when you hit submit, you're going to actually get this pop-up of your application number is successful, you wanna look for a screen that looks like this, I'll show it to you. So here we go, filling out the stupid little capacha thing or whatever at 10.30 at night yesterday, hit submit, there it is. There is my application submitted. You can see my application ID. That's the one I actually did yesterday, not the one that I just showed you here. But uh, folks, oh my gosh, wow, good information here. Make sure you do this ASAP, get in line. Like hundreds of thousands of people are already gonna be jumping on this. Uh, I think though, because this just updated last night and the SBA took everybody by surprise here, you're wa if you're watching this within the first like five days, you're good. So. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure to get your two free stocks with Webull. When you deposit just $100, you get two free stocks valued up to $1,400. And hey, even if you only get two free stocks worth $15 or $20, it's still worth it because it takes you like five minutes to do. And you may as well get some free money really fast. We're on the topic of free money anyway. Thanks so much for watching. Follow me on Instagram and until next time.